yeah, like I, I feel like DC has been screwing up a lot with, with. Did you uh, like the Snyder the Snyder cut with their movies? Say what? Did you like the Snyder cut? I enjoyed it. Yeah. Like I, I'm glad that I watched it. Uh, it makes a lot more sense. I like the shots, the action, the sequences better. Um, and I'm glad I watched it, but I don't have a desire to watch it again. Like I'm, I'm good. Mm. What about you? I haven't seen it yet. Oh. I think because I heard it was like four hours long. So I'm like, uh, no thanks. Well, so it is, it's four and something hours long and it's divided into like six parts. What do you mean six parts? Like six subplots? Yeah. It's like, uh, because it's so long, I think they divide into parts and my plan was to watch it in parts as well because it's, it's uh, a long movie. I see. Yeah. But I ended up watching most of it in one day and then I just finished it like the day after. Even though my plan was to watch it like a part every I don't know, every two days or something like that. But it was good enough that I definitely wanted to keep watching, but I, I mean again, four hours is a long time. Yeah. I mean, for some reason I'm willing to watch an hour episode every week kenobi but uh, i'm not willing to watch a four-hour movie split into four parts but i think i just have we just have way too many shows to watch and we need to uh get it all out of the door how many shows we're, th- did I tell you? we're thinking of canceling netflix yeah i feel like a lot of people are canceling their netflix right now yeah uh like really what's what's left i mean we we have stranger things Mm-hmm. And then nothing else. And then until Squid Game comes back. So maybe oh, yeah, just cancel it. Season two is coming out. <laughs> yeah. So we're probably just going to cancel it. Wait a couple months and then get it for Squid Game and then cancel it again. Well, like that's what happens when they like raise the prices over and over yeah. again. They raise the prices oh like three times in a year. I think. Maybe twice. The worst part is that 4K used to be part of it. And now you have to pay a separate package for 4K. Like, so now we're all watching it in 1080p. That's at a price see. that's more expensive than other services that have 4K. Yeah. And I know that there, I know there's been talk about them bringing commercials too. Like ads and stuff like that, like Hulu. And uh, I mean, with, with Hulu, I'm used to it. But I'm used to it because we have TV shows you know, older TV shows that existed before streaming services did. And so it's not, it, it doesn't throw me off to see the commercial in between anyway. Like when they throw in their two commercials, even though oh, seeing see. the same commercial over and over and over again, it's super annoying. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. But with Hulu, again, those shows, like it makes sense because they used to be TV shows, but Netflix has been doing their own TV shows. So does that mean that they're going to start filming them? to fit the commercial in between. I feel like, like you know how some, some to be TV a shows break. do that? Yeah. Where they give you like a like a, a mini cliffhanger so that yeah. you don't change the channel. Yep, yep, yep. Like I it, there was, they, had to, they had to like design the show around the commercials to try mm-hmm. to keep you. And so there's a structure to it. Now we don't have to worry about that. So now it's like you don't get those mini cliffhangers which were like part of the show. So I don't know. Yeah. Because what if they have services where they don't have ads and then you pay to remove the ads? How's that going to work with the flow of the show? Yeah. Uh, Well, uh, Hulu does that, right? Like Hulu, you can pay the the seven, eight dollars a month and you get ads or you can pay a premium, which is like 15 bucks a month and then you don't get any ads. Um, And the thing is like, I've seen shows like that before and it feels weird. But it's also kind of nice not having to wait for the ad to pop up. Like, the show just keeps going on. If Netflix decides to go that way, where they're going to start adding ads to their movies and shows, I hope they bring it down to the same level as Hulu. Hulu, $7, I think it is, not 8 $7 for ads. So, if Netflix does the same thing where it's like $7 for ads and then $20 for like an ultimate premium where you get everything... Yeah, it's still it's 20 bucks is still overpriced in my opinion, but I think so. Whatever. I I mean, do you remember the times when it would say 
and we'll be right back and then fades to black and then fades back up and we're back to the show <laughs> and it's kind of weird but it was like designed to do that so now you have it'd be kind of weird to have those again i always laughed when that happened because it was like it was just a weird tv thing <laughs> i don't know if do we, do we need to do that for our episodes, like as soon as we're done with the topic? And we'll be right back. 